What's up guys, Corvus95 here and welcome to episode 16 of my Europa Universalis 4 playthrough as Brandenburg and on the last set of episodes last week we got involved in this war against Savoy. France is getting demolished by Savoy. I think we're probably going to break our alliance with France whether it happens due to the war or after the war. I'm not sure but we're currently not really helping at all. We're just defending the Netherlands with these forts we've built, or were inherited. And apart from that, we're kind of just letting France take the brunt of it. We're also probably going to go into a religious turmoil disaster, because I can only stop it if I get religious unity to 75%, and I'm currently at 16%. So I very much doubt I'm going to get there. It would be lovely to have that for the extra missionary, but I don't have enough gold. There was something where if I had one stability, something happened. I can't remember what. What was it? Well, one's quantity. That would be very nice to have. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. But I knew I wanted to boost my stability by one. Anyway, we will get started with this. About 26,000 men, but not really anything to do with them. Um, we also lost the Empire ship last time because we changed to Protestant, which was definitely a mistake because I thought I was going to get a religious center, and I didn't. So yeah, that sucks. Which is why I'm probably going to have that event fire. Okay, so let's get underway with this episode. Let's go. So convert something instantly. And it shouldn't really matter which we do, if we do a long one or a short one. Hammerick, where's that? Camerick's down here, it is 12 development. Whereas Anhalt is over here. Where's Anhalt? There it is. And that is 9 development. So that that's actually much better to do Anhalt, because it takes 3 less months and it's only 3 less development. We've got lots of places we can assign states to be. And if this disaster is going to fire, once this disaster gets to about 80%, I think I'm going to have to raise my war maintenance. Because or else I'm going to really suffer once they actually rise up. Okay. Stettons converted, very nice. Looks like these are being converted by nearby senders of Reformation. This one in Skane in Denmark. So Denmark went Protestant. We don't see that that often. You see it? Sweden going Protestant, not so much Denmark. Um, yeah, what's this at though? 56. So we've got 44 to go, so that's 22 months, so that's less than two years. Which means I am definitely going to lose. Right, did we lose our alliance with France? Doesn't look like it. However, France is getting ruined by England. England converted to Protestant. They may have a tough time then because they just took all this land. One trick I think I could do to get my religious unity up a bit, raise autonomy in every single province that has, that's still Catholic. But look at how many I would have to do that to. I don't know if it's quite worth it. Right. 
Provence is in a coalition with England. This is at 58%. Scotland's in a coalition against England. They took too much. Oi. What are you doing? I'll turn it on, but it doesn't matter. They've definitely they're definitely taking that. And they've turned it on, which sucks. How did they get through? They must have went around. How did they get through though? Did they go through Trier, I guess? Right, Savoy. I will break treaties with France. No. They don't want us to release anyone or release or return cores or seed provinces. Don't want any of that. War reparations. I can't afford that. I'm afraid. So we do have the five shock general. Which is awesome. They have no general, so that's just that way. Let's quickly just do that. Detach. Go siege. We have two siege value. So what force level is this? It is a force level 2, so we need 6 to siege it, so we'll leave 7 behind. So like that. And then all our army will just move out. Can't really take any territory until we get Catholic M oh Protestant Empire. Because we're gonna have to do unlawful unlawful territory. So Aragon took some land from France. France is just dead at this point. So it's up to 72%, so it's it's a hundred percent going to fire. Hopefully we will be able to stand up to it. I'm not sure if we will or not. completely forgot that I got rid of siege attrition. So don't have to worry about putting a huge stack here. So Hoya, sure. So once it fires, can I get rid of it by go going over 75% um, religious unity? It only goes up by two because I have less than 50. I'm never gonna get out above 50 before the end. It's trying its best, the game, to help me out here. Yeah. Looks like I'm gonna get a disaster though. I'm not gonna do that, am I? Game unrest everywhere. I'll do that and then just boost stability. To convert provinces is the most important thing at the moment. at 78%. It seems to be going slower. It may just be I'm pausing a lot. Do you not want to peace out, Savoy? I'm offering you something you want. I'll annul my alliance with France. I don't really want it anymore, to be honest. So we should probably get you to come back. And what allies do we have? We have, well, Saxony just went Protestant, didn't they? They did. 
Bohemia's Protestant, so they're the two we're going to keep as allies, 100%. Apart from that, no one else has really gone Protestant so far. So we'll improve with Bohemia and Saxony. Galway, threatening my trade. So you did a bad embargo. What's the force limit here? 20. Supply limit, sorry. Yes, of course. Of course you can have military access. Why wouldn't I? Come on, siege this down, please. So I have a lot of manpower. Actually above our manpower cap because we were emperor. We keep getting blockaded. And all that's doing is being harmful for our war exhaustion, which is up to one, just due to blockades. Travelling minstrel gain of stability. Yes. It's always nice to get more stability for free. A conversion successful. Let's do Lauenberg. Church power, we need 100 to get one of these. And if we're still having the problem, I'll go for missionary strength. Otherwise, probably idea cost. Okay, what's it at? Oh, it's going to fire in ten, five months. Right, come on. Right, good, you're done. I need to find a province that has 26 force limit. Or supply limit. I keep saying force limit. Right, and we have 27 force limit now. Berlin, force limit 23. Rostock, 30. Everyone go to Rostock. And we'll have all our forts active. That's all fine. So it's probably going to have it in a Catholic province. And I should probably get another cavalry? Cavalry will probably be the most advantageous. Like, looking at that, cavalry look like they suck, comparatively. Let's have a look. So they have no fire, they have double the shock value, so yeah, we should probably get a cav. Let's do that. Get a cavalry. Now we're just preparing for the inevitable. A horrible, horrible war that's about to happen. Well, civil war. What if I give you that? I don't have a diplomat. Oh, Austria gave me 250 ducats. That's awfully nice of them. Do I, there's no point doing that. I'm never gonna get it all converted in four months. Or two months at this point. It's literally impossible. There's no point in trying. No point spending 500 ducats to do it either. There we go. There's the extra cavalry. Now, how many rebels are going to spawn? Cool. Yes, I'll take it. I'm not losing the stability. I tried to pause there. Right. Ooh, Norway got the event at exactly the same time. Cheap iron, so artillery cost goes down. Wismar, which is right next door. 26 religious rebels. Oh, we'll get this. Tolerant society. So we can either convert faster... Right, let's go to Bismarck then. This is going to be a very close battle. It's the only problem I have. Right, they have the negatives. And we've stomped them. Awesome. We stack wiped as well. So we took that down. 
we're convert faster now and we need to get rid of this so one of the following must be true fewer rebel control provinces than one so that is tr that will be true in a second one of the following must be true and is force converted religious unity of 90 percent or i must be well one of the following must be true catholic protestant or reformed completed humanist or has had religious turmoil for 25 years so uh, oh that's a very big risk I'm, I'm losing 11 ducats a month how is that possible because i'm reinforcing that's how it's possible okay that won't be that bad though once we're reinforced maintain diplomat please my diplomat just died which means i have to get a new diplomat Let's get a level one guy. Hmm. Right. So we need to get up to 90%. We're at 40, which is a lot higher than I thought it was. So I think I can probably do it in three years maybe four if i took defender of the faith without it it's probably going to be like seven or eight or nine Ooh, and that's seven or eight or nine years of bad events is the problem because that's the problem with disasters it's not the stacks of rebels it's the fact that you just get constant bad events and why won't savoy peace me out like this is the kind of war where Savoy should piece me out. Because they, they don't gain anything from having me stay in the war. I'll give you that as well. We don't want it. Okay. Why isn't that enough? Yeah, you're making gains, but you're going to lose the war if you carry on like this. I'm allowing you to win the war. Peace me out, and then you can just destroy France. Like, I'm the only person in this war stopping them from winning. From, like, completely winning. Why would I know? Is, are they coming towards this way? Because I'm thinking of going after that. I mean, that 50%, they could peace out at any moment. People having a lot of problems with rebels... Looks like Kuhn's going to convert to Protestant. Their capital's already fallen. This is sieging very quickly. I don't like it. Right, so how many ducats do we lose a month? Two. So if we put our maintenance down to the point where we're losing like 1.25, that's fine. We're still at decent morale. And then I pay 500 ducats for that. So I could last, what, 100 and something months? Just about 100 months. Which is about 7 or 8 years. Sure. They're doing it. No one declare war on a Protestant. Because I'll have to defend them. Let's get this done. Can someone attack this 22 stack for me? What are you doing, France? You're just going to get gobbled up. That's all that's going to happen. Worst case scenario is I take some loans. It's not the end of the world. Brabant was converted to, Cap to Protestantism. Savonian orders, improving relations with us. Narman just fell to Savoy. They're going to smash the French army. Can Stoll handle this army? It can. Go as far away from the op opposition as possible. So I have as much time to pay attention and 
notice that they're attacking as I can. And that's going to be where we end this episode, guys. So, <laughs> a bit of a hide-and-seek situation I'm in here. I don't want to do anything involving this wall. That's why I'm just hiding away. France is lost at this point. They were in like four wars at once. That's why they lost. They're useless. I'm not giving anything to Savoy apart from maybe this and breaking the French alliance. And we'll see what I do on the next episode, guys. So, until then, if you've enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And from me, Corvus Knight 5, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.